Tim Rich. Today, I'm going to be showing you some basic gliding for beginners. I'll demonstrate a few different techniques, although we're going to concentrate mostly on the circle glide, which looks like this. But first, let's get you familiar with the basic concept of gliding. When you glide, the weight is going to be on your toes most of the time. You can dance on the tip of your toe or on the base of your toe, whichever you prefer. If you can glide with your weight entirely on the tip of your toe, that's going to maximize the illusion of the glide. If you're more comfortable on the base of your toe, that's going to increase your balance. And whichever you choose, you always want this angle to be at least 45 degrees to make your gliding look as clean as possible. You're going to want to learn how to support your body weight entirely on one toe while your other foot slides flat. You're going to maintain the illusion as long as you keep at least 45 degrees. Now it's time to learn how to shift your weight from one toe to the other. You may have seen this move before. It's also a good exercise to help improve balance and teach you how to shift your weight. You want to be able to shift your weight fast, yet smoothly as possible. Now that you understand the basics, let's move on to the circle glide. I'll show you step by step. This is what it looks like in real time. You can start by going whichever direction you prefer. In this tutorial, I'm gliding to my left, your right. Whichever direction you choose to glide, you want to shift your weight to that toe and slide your other foot cross to the other side. Immediately shift your weight to the opposite toe. Here's that transition again. Shifting your weight can be tricky at first because of how fast you have to make that transition. Then basically just pull this leg back and out of the way so you can prepare to pull your other foot across again. Shift your weight and slide your foot all the way across keeping in mind that as soon as you make the weight shift, that other foot should start sliding immediately. Those weight transitions are key and have to be spot on to maintain the illusion. You shift your weight and slide. Shift your weight and slide. You might not get it your first try, but don't get frustrated because it takes practice and repetition to be a challenge. But with the right amount of practice, you should be able to do this effortlessly. Now let's wind down with some easier steps. On this one, you're going to remain stationary, although it does have a slight gliding effect to it. You start on your toe and let your weight roll over to your heel while your other foot slides back and repeat. Once again, if you can do this from the tip of your toe, that will enhance the illusion. This is a variation of that move, just a little more difficult. From your toe, you want to swivel your heel around towards the camera or audience, let your weight roll down to your heel while the other leg slides forward in a sweeping motion. Then if you want, you can transition into your circle glide. Always remember to be creative and try to develop your own footwork so you can show the crowd something they may have never seen before. I hope this video has been helpful and please subscribe below for more dance videos and tutorials. Dance Hotspot.